today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this day to night effect. So let's just get right into it. And I'm going to show you guys how you can utilize color correction super easily to do this and how you can turn clips like this that are super bright into clips that are super dark like this. Now, right now, as you can see, I brought the black value way down. So you're starting to get some bad coloration here. So this doesn't look great yet, but for the sake of this tutorial, just bear with me. And then obviously up here, we're going to need to get rid of that as well. And as you can see here, obviously this is a moving clip. You're going to want to typically use a clip that's not moving so you can do a proper sky replacement and then utilizing that lightning there just makes the effect way better so let's just get right into it enough yapping so first thing we want to do is take out the sky so the way that we're going to do that is we're going to just duplicate our clip and make that bottom clip invisible for now and then on this top layer here just add on the luma key effect change the key out darker to key out brighter and then you're just going to turn up the threshold until you have only the white sky and then as you can see right next to destroy lonely we've got lights that are bleeding through right here so what we're going to do just ignore that for now we're just going to focus on the background here and right around 245 that's kind of as good as we can possibly get it and then what we'll do is we'll just duplicate the layer again take off luma key and then just create a mask just around this building here so we can get those lights in there. And so just super quick here, I'll just track the mask path. And so right now we have something that looks like this. And you know, obviously, like I said, this looks really bad and we'll pull all this out later. For now, we're just gonna increase the feather a little bit just to help that out. And you don't have to replace this guy. What you could do is you just make this bottom layer visible and then add some color correction to that layer. So with lumetri color or some tritone and then just set this to, you know, whichever color that you want. I would suggest maybe just making it a little bit of a like darker gray and then you know that could maybe work again the black background isn't the best for this i'm just showing you guys that you can do this on really any clip but using the luma key effect it's only going to work best when you use it on a white background or when the sky is just one solid color so now i'll just pre-compose these two layers together the mask layer and the regular layer and start color grading this so i'm going to add on some lumetri color increase the contrast decrease the shadows decrease the highlights and and then decrease the exposure a little bit, decrease the whites, and then I'm gonna create an adjustment layer and add on another Lumetri color. And then this is really where, where we can add the color grade. So that was just a little bit of color correction. So I'm gonna turn down the temperature a whole bunch because I think that just looks really good for like music videos. And also because the lightning is blue, I think it just kind of gives a nice little vibe. But yeah, so now, you know, you can decrease the blacks, decrease the shadows, increase the whites, decrease the whites. And then something that you could do that I'd recommend is you could brighten up these, actually mask these these out individually and make these lights brighter but you know for the sake of this tutorial it's not necessary and also for when it comes to music video effects which is what this is intended for if the clip is only like one second long you don't have to go super crazy on it i think the effect really just shines through once you have the lightning on there and everything go caress that subscribe button and tickle that like button and make sure to check out my website where i sell a bunch of creative and digital assets that'll help out you and your edits and your editing journey it really helps support the channel i appreciate y'all now let's get right back into this and you could also go for another look so you could duplicate this adjustment layer and then instead of decreasing the temperature you could just increase it some and then you know that actually does kind of look like some nighttime but you know like as you can see this just doesn't look great with the oversaturated black here in the corner so just you know play around with those values till it looks good every clip is going to be different and then to add on the lightning effect what you're going to want to do here is just rotoscope out your subject if you don't know how to roto brush just look up a little tutorial on that and then again i'd recommend doing this on a clip that's not moving like on this example up on the screen it was a still shot and then and just added in some camera shake in post and you can also use that lightning effect to just kind of spice up any kind of clip and if you guys want to know how to do that lightning effect that's up here on the screen make sure to go check out this tutorial that's in either one of these corners and you can do that practically with after effects built in effects and use color correction color grading to really get creative and change the whole vibe set the whole tone for your music video and just like switch it up at certain points and this is really effective with like some camera shakes and you know when it's hitting on the the beat when that 808 is hitting you know you want that effect to be hitting you know what i'm saying but that's gonna do it for this effect i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you guys have a great rest of your day may god bless your heart mind body soul spirit peace out <laughs>